So this little guy right here, I shouldn't say little, he's pretty big, is a tarantula hawk wasp. There's also something called cicada killers, uh, which are a similar, similar animal and similar species. So the way that the tarantula hawk wasp works is it will find usually a tarantula, but sometimes a large wolf spider or some other large spider like that, and it will land on the spider. It's trying to land on the spider's back because then the spider is defenseless because its legs don't bend up this way. Uh, the spider will roll over onto its stomach, so it's got the bitey parts and the legs to protect itself, and the tarantula will wrestle the spider back onto its stomach. Once it's got it down, and it's got it sort of pinned wrestling style, the tarantula hawk wasp actually pierces the abdomen of the spider and it injects some venom. The venom paralyzes the spider. Then it takes the spider, which could weigh up to three times as much as the wasp does, and it drags it back to a hole, um, sort of a lair or a den, someplace nearby that's in the dirt. He will take the spider down and it will tuck it into the hole, and then once it's in the hole, it actually injects its eggs into the spider, and there the eggs are incubated. So the spider is alive, it is just paralyzed, and it now has eggs growing inside of it. When the eggs hatch, they actually eat the spider that is still alive, and then they start the life cycle all over again. Texas.